Let's see if I get the light out now. Oh no! You're feeling shy. There we go. I got it. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty Bemis. I'm Scotty Hoy. Today we're looking at Royal Toys, local Hong Kong brick brand. A new set from them. Yes. This is available at BreakMeUpScotty.com if you really like it. Go get yours today or not. At least they're doing more building stuff. So here it is. So this is Royal Toys City Story, Wu Cheng Pawn Shop. RT27, 584 pieces. Just to show you guys, this is what the box looks like. So when you order from us, we do have to take it out of the box that so saves on shipping. Because you know, size comparison, you're paying a lot for the box. We really, really want the box. You can always request a box. There's a lot of you have been buying other sets with the boxes and we do send them out like that. So this is the front and now this is the back. Can you see that? Yeah, I won't hold it so I won't move it around so much so you guys can admire it and all the Chinese writing on there. And while you're looking at it, I can explain to you that Royal Toys is based here locally in Hong Kong. They've been really cool. A lot of you have been buying them so thank you for supporting them and supporting our store too. So here's a comparison shot of this pawn shop with the real one in Wan Chai in Hong Kong. So this is what an old school pawn shop really looks like and it's pretty comparable. But that area actually has three more buildings which you can see side by side. Maybe Royal Toys will release more of that or you can make your own. And if you want a vintage look of Hong Kong, this is it right here. For me, I'm actually pretty excited that Royal Toys is actually coming out with more of these kind of sets. And you know, I hope that they do something bigger and even more badder and more detailed. Of course, this one is not like crazy modular size, it's a little bit smaller. If I were to put a modular next to it, do I have to put this one next to it? You know, I can't really talk about this one, right? I know you guys want this one so bad. I think I had to do an unlisted one of this one. So, you know, don't forget to support your designers. But let's say if I pull out, okay, this is one from Woma, which I have not done yet. If you haven't seen the Woma sets, you can see that. People have pointed out that this looks more like to Woma size, but it's actually bigger than the Woma buildings here. There's this one here. Here's another one here. So it's bigger, definitely bigger scaled compared to the Woma ones. And then, you know, just pull out a regular size modular. Okay, so what you're seeing here is the Lego pet store. This is part of it. You know, I just wanted to show you a skinny building with a skinny building. And you can see, it's kind of smaller than this. So it's, so it's kind of like a medium scale thing. I don't know what to call it, man. Look, if you're just in the Hong Kong building or you want something Asian, that's a little bit different. Pawn shop is the only thing you can get, right? Put this back. Yeah, I'll just put this on the floor. So we'll look at the manual first. This is the manual for you guys. It is very nicely done. And as always, very easy to read. And the bummer thing about the set, I know you're gonna say it, you're gonna say it. Yeah, sticker sheet. All the things that you see on the set are pretty much stickers. Wow, oh, no stickers. Why you gotta be stickers, man? Of course, it's probably saving them a lot more so that they can put out sets for you guys. First thing you're probably gonna notice is all these Chinese signs on it. I mean, that's the old school look. That's what it kind of looked like. And those are all stickers. So you might not want to put them on here. I do like these pillars here on the front. They're kind of curved, they're different, but they can move a little bit like that. So, you know, structurally might not be perfect. That's okay, it's a small build. They're trying to be different, man. So that's kind of good in a way. Then you got this kind of dark green front there, the entrance. The windows there are actually prints. Wow, nice. So I kind of like the white in the back with the dark green, kind of brings it out a little bit. You got two doors to go into the pawn shop. The cool thing about this set is they are using built-in brick lights. Now I'm not a huge fan of LED lighting, but these ones are using a new type of brick light. You can barely see it on there. Now I'll turn off the lights later, but what's really cool is it's so easy to take in and out, but this is kind of a new light brick I haven't seen before. Now some of you may have seen this from a recent set, which again is behind me, that is unlisted. So now you know that Royal Toys is really using Panlos bricks from the brand Panlos, but there you go. That's the light brick that they do use. They have small little tiny batteries in here. I do have to take them out when we send them to you, even though they're that small. Post office is like so anal about what kind of batteries we can actually send. So it's just easier for me to remove them. But you know, I'll put the link in the description what batteries they use. I think you have to use a small screwdriver 
to pop it out. It comes out when you first get it, put the batteries in, and you just push it like that. Like that. So this set has two lights. There's one on the upper floor. You can see it here. So you just push it like that. There you go. How nice. Okay, it's not super strong, but that's a nice thing for a change. I like that. Maybe I can sell the lights individually, you know? Then you can buy a bunch of them and just slap them everywhere. The doors open and close just fine, and they do have a little bit of transparent piece there. And they're also using stickers along those doors, kind of like the tram and the bus. If you haven't watched those, check those out, because those are actually really fun to do. But yeah, a little bit of big stickers along the top and the, the signs there, which is kind of a bummer. They remove the side here. This is just a plain wall right there. And that is another sticker there. That's kind of an ugly sticker, man. Then we come to the back. It's open. That's kind of a good and a bad thing for the set. For one thing, this isn't a modular, so you can't take off the second floor. Even though it's open in the back, it's still a little bit hard to get in there, but it's kind of cool that you can see a little bit of the back here, but we'll come back to the interior in a second. And we come to this side here. Again, more stickers down below on the side here and the name of the street sign there and above the door here. There is a little awning here on the side and it is a little bit fragile, so be careful how you put that on because pieces are just kind of hanging out by the stud. Now it's missing two window pieces here on the side. What's the side, man? No one's gonna look at that, right? Except maybe this thing right here. All right, we gotta talk about that. So that is an old school neon sign, but like the Kowloon restaurant, it's sticker on both sides. Yeah, it kind of looks ghetto like that. I kind of wish they could have figured out how to make it more three-dimensional and printed. They got the outline of the sign really well. And I do like the ladder pieces that they use and the pieces that hold them into place. That's actually really cool. That's fine. But yeah, I get it. I mean, I'm just like, I wish it was just more detailed in that aspect rather than using a sticker. And a lot of you will say, too many stickers again. It's a royal toy thing, man. Finally, come up to the rooftop here, and there's not much more to it. They're just kind of like trying to match to the shape of the actual store. Now, the real bummer on the back here is there's no support here on the rooftop. So it's like, I wish they had just a couple of extra plates to hold this down. They didn't tile it here. They didn't put a couple of things here. They just, it just feels like it's kind of rushed. Like, I'll just, just, just leave it like that. It's fine. It's plain. People would only want to see this part. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more effort in that top area there. Now it's kind of interesting how they did the upper floor here on the side, they kind of tiled it off. It is a little bit loose on this top part here, but I still like the fact that they kind of hid or had a different look than just bricks stacking up on top of each other. So along the back here, there's a little step here where the owner is supposed to stand here and sell his goods. So it's really missing quite a lot from the back side. Like if you wanted details like cash register, it would be all on this side. So in front of where the figure stands is this whole gate window piece it's supposed to be like a metal barrier so you can't come in and steal the stuff looking at it now i kind of do wish they extended the back a little bit more so they can have more items and more things to place on the inside there it's really hard to get a figure on the inside to be honest with you there's nothing in there but a red wall that kind of separates the counter and the front it's kind of a weird design and that's it for the first floor kind of would have had like to see a little bit more there again you're probably buying this for a nostalgic thing if you want to just have a look of a building or you know put this way back in there in your city and just make it look like a background piece set that has a nice display to the front we come to the staircase here which is super thin but the funny thing is i kind of like the concept of how they designed it because they were able to fit a staircase here now a figure can actually fit there just barely fit there and i like how they did the rails and i wonder if i can just actually take the whole thing out this is what the staircase looks like so it's very simple very thin only a couple pieces, so it can fall apart pretty easily. But I do like the fact that they were actually able to make it quite skinny, yet be able to fit in such a small area there and be able to go up to the second floor. And let's look at the second floor. There's, there ain't nothing on the first floor. So now we make our way to the second floor. Again, it's kind of small, hard to get into. You really can't, I mean, I guess you can kind of try to take these parts off, but everything will kind of want to pop off. Royal toys, at least make it a little bit modular there. But again, you probably raise up the plate a little bit and make it modular so it can come apart. Or buy two of these, and make it into a bigger building. Now I do like the window pieces there. That's kind of cool how they just put a bunch of them together and it has a nice look to that. And it is a little bit barren as well, but they do have a bunch of shelves, an empty treasure chest there, and you have all these parts here that you're supposed to put inside, but they're just gonna fall off everywhere. So I'm just, I just took them out 
On this side, it's kind of like that red barrier on the first floor where it doesn't really do anything. They have the screen window piece there, but it's not really doing anything. To be honest with you, the little LED lights make up for it. You know, let me, let me turn off the lights and see what it looks like, all right? Okay, so the light is not that strong on the front there. If I turn it around here, it's dimly lit, but hey, I'll take this over wires. And you know, you can probably add a couple more of these. If I turn it off here, there. And there, you can see it did make a little bit difference. You wanna see that again? Let me turn it on here. And if I find it, oh, my fingers were wrong side. There we go. And there. All right. Can you see it from the sides here? No, not really, a little bit. Very moody lighting right there. All right, let's turn the lights back on and do dimensions. So here's my 32 by 32 base plate. Put this here. Before I put it down, if I flip this here upside down to show you guys, yeah, they had to actually add like one more piece right there. It's really weird. They're like, oh, oh no, we're, we're not gonna just fit. So we had to add this one here. So it's probably gonna be a weird number. I'll put this down here like so. Slide this there. So on the front here, by length, it is 16 studs. If I rotate it to its side there, and that is 17. Not okay for you? Let's check the heights. So here are my one by four bricks. I'm gonna stack it up here to the highest point. It sits nicely like that. And that is 24 bricks in height. Small enough, right? Okay, your dimensions. Booyah. Well, that piece came off with it. Oh. The set does come with two figures, two gentlemen that are gonna rip each other off. All right, let's look at this guy, the first guy in green. I don't even know if he's the owner or not. That's what he's like on the box anyway. But here he is. They're okay. They're nothing to go crazy about. They look normal. Printing on the front of his outfit there. He's wearing a suit, a green suit, kind of matches the door. Look at his face. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna rip you off so bad. I'm gonna hoard all these items for myself. And just so you know, you guys, we try to use like a Lego torso. This like this is a real Lego piece. Try to put it with this guy. Yeah, it doesn't fit with Lego. So that could be a good thing. All right, so we got the customer here who also doesn't look all that great. Look at his headpiece. It's got like bumps on it. That is really weird looking. Well, he looks like he's getting ripped off. He looks like he's gonna cry and be like, no, what do you want? I need to sell this. I need to buy that instead. He's wearing a suit. It's not my favorite looking thing. See, this figure just kind of looks plain in general, but there he is. You know, you might want to just add in your own figures. That's totally fine. And here are all the items, spares that come with it, including an extra hand. You gotta cut your hand off if you want to buy some gold from this place. But you can see you got like a little camera there and like a little couple of these like kryptonite looking pieces and all this gold. So that's where the pawn shop owner keeps all the goodies there. Just throw them all in the treasure chest. There you go. All right, I'm in a different shirt, different setting, different time. That means I've finished reviewing and shooting all the details of the set. I can drop this for you without feeling so guilty, all right? So Royal Toys, Pawn Shop, don't let me down. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Kind of came loose here. Oh! Anything else fall off inside? Just the lights, I think. Hey, not bad. A couple of things, you know. Now it's more open. So there you guys go. The Royal Toys Pawn Shop. It's available. Too small for you? Is it okay? It's not bad. It's just, you know, I hope Royal Toys can expand from this and make a bigger building and start creating some cities for us. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for liking, comment, and subscribing. Don't forget that this is available on the store, brickmeupscotty.com. And until next time, you guys, brick me up! <laughs>